heart is open, my friends. Battles have yet to begin. Laughter. Not at least the will be blood. The sorrow and loss may abound. We'll do our best to hold this hallowed ground. On that note, welcome back to Nightbane. Hey! <laughs> Ready to come back? Yeah! Welcome back to Nightbane. Last week, we avoided the roadblock. We got back into the woods. Flora woke up finally and started passing off knowledge. A little bit of knowledge. Nightbane had been around for longer than the dark day. They're trying to decide which way to go. Flora wants to go into Canada to a supposed place where the Nightbane have been told they can gather for safety. Oxes and all that sold on the idea. The other two are kind of saying we have no better option. And we were deciding what we're going to have for lunch. Take it away. Yeah. What's for lunch? I'll have a bologna. <laughs> well... Ox packed a bunch of dried goods. Um, uh, I assume he has Don't water. Do you have as well. like twenty bags of marshmallows? But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he's gonna just uh, make up uh, some some tastier versions of MREs. And oh, and militant, your Twizzler bonus rolled off. Okay. Um. So while I'm while Uncle Ox is cooking. Um, we're a bit far north, it's early March. Would there be any sort of, like, wildflowers blooming? Or even budding? No? Okay, I'll keep that for later then. Are you gonna go pollinate? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm just asking your mom. I know. No, I was gonna go eat some dandelions. Any lion wine? Yeah. Uh, well, while they're looking about and doing stuff, I'm gonna scoot closer to Flora and. Uh, hey, um. In nightbane form now, so two big old gun barrel arms, two smaller arms, and uh, what looks like welder's goggles and very mechanical look. I. I don't know if this is like an uncouth question or if it's something that's like inappropriate to ask or anything. I'm still pretty new to all this, but why do you have the zippers? Why do you have gun arms? That's also a follow up question, actually. It's unknown. It's random. We don't know why Nightbane are given what they're given. It's totally random. It's not by choice. I mean, mine seems tied to the to my last name, but I don't know. I have the same last random name. Random luck. Well, that is that is. You make a good point, Lawrence. <laughs> Are they like full metal? Your zippers? Can you unzip them? I could shove bullets into my arms, and it's a little painful. I've once tried unzipping things, and it's exactly what you would expect. Inside things are falling out. Oh. So they're watertight? Blood tight? Seem, seem to be. It's like a suture. Night, the nightbane forms don't make logical sense. Uh, Ox is munching on some foods while he's eating them. You gotta test, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, oh, that's a question. When we're doing the night bands, are our insides the same? Like, is my heart going to be here? 
Same so no. chemical structure. Oh. Nope. I mean, you're a giant tree. Trees don't have hearts. Oh. Hmm. Just not looking down at my chest. I mean, I really doubt that it is, but if you really need to know, I guess, if you want to sacrifice yourself, we can figure it out. No. Just curious. Here's Next some time food. somebody blows a hole, we'll figure it out. We'll take a look on the inside. That sounds awful. Mm. We're passing have... around uh, some uh, some nachos mm. with some uh, pork, re- rehydrated beans, and uh, meats, uh, ground beef uh, mm. with some. Uh, Rehydrated sour cream on there. Uh, a little bit oh. of cheese. Rehydrated, of course. We live in the high life. Yeah, I'm just right. at berries <laughs> and roots for days. Anyway. The, the nachos are pretty smashed, but uh, they're still nice. Let's see. It's a pretty good cook. Who wants to do percentage dice? I'll do it. Good. I like it when JP does them. <laughs> 85. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Oh, okay. Wrong end of the spectrum. Okay. Um, right. So, like... Is the NSP, like, the only thing we have to be worried about? Or are there... So, like, I, I know of some... The NSP's new. That's the new thing you have to be worried about. You right, have to be okay. worried about the hunters. Hunters. Uh, okay. They're going to be after you. You got to be worried about humans who think you're a monster. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. They're going to be after you. Um, from experience, probably we don't get along too well with the vampires either. So be careful of them. Um, vampires are weird. But, um, yeah. And they're not us? No. Okay. They're a whole species to themselves. Ghouls, that have been also around for undead? a thousand. Those are probably Nightbane. Oh, okay. Vampires are real? Question. Mm-hmm. If, a, if a Nightbane gets bitten by a vampire, what happens? Haven't been around long enough to find out. <laughs> huh? That's going down on the list of questions. Let's say, let's not find out. Would you say, in your experience, it is safer to travel in uh, human form or not paid form? If humans can be avoided, it is better to travel in nightbane form if it's faster. Whatever is the fastest way to travel is. That it's not mechanical technology or anything like that. Um. Uh. Not looks... nightbane-ish. Okay, right. Yeah. Cars, planes, trains, motorcycles. Takes one of the gun arms and just wipes his brow. That's like a scraping of metal on metal. I mean, there are Nightbane that have motorcycle bodies, but hey, whatever. What? You're right. Our bodies don't make any logical sense. No. What happens to Nightbanes don't make any sense. No one's been able to figure it out that I know of. Maybe one of those ancient Nightbane might know more. If you ever run into one, ask him. Maybe we'll have a chance to in this place in Canada. Well, hope uh, that was tasty. I guess we're. So we got maps. Leaving. Yep, we got maps. Picked up so the ring was chucked. The ring is chucked. Maps. So I guess the biggest question right now is 
How are we getting around Superior? Great question. I mean, I'm reluctant to fly over it. Something just feels wrong. I am an employee of the Forest National Service. I could perhaps borrow a boat. No, I don't think we should Back go. Back to non-technological travel <laughs> and avoiding humans. I would say, if you really want to do this, you're no longer part of the National Forest Service. We can go around well, to the yeah. east. Yeah, oh. I would just circle around to the east of the lake. For context, my reluctance is tied into moths being close to butterflies and the fact that monarch butterflies tend to just make a big turn and go around like in the middle of Lake Superior because ages ago there used to be like a big mountain there and just like the hive mind remembers that you can't go forwards <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I don't want to do that huh so you're saying east around mm-hmm that's a big I... city east I wouldn't say east well going west is similar yeah. problematic it's gonna be a longer way around as well but it's safer it's quieter in town. Avoiding cities, not having to cross rivers, bridges, checkpoints. If we go west, we've got open land, open borders. It'll be easier to cross. They'll take I've been longer, up to the yes. boundary waters, actually. Um mm -hmm. Very easy to cross. Actually, went to Canada on accident once. Well, uh, okay, west then. West we go. Walking the whole way in March. Excellent. At least the weather feels a little more comfortable in Morpheus form. Very tolerable. All right. Well, I'm gonna pack up the gear that I unpacked and start walking west. Just a head on the swivel the entire time, looking around. I'm sure there aren't any real planes in the sky with my good old telescopic vision. Hey, you can always see a chopper at the moment. Wow. Somewhere. Everywhere I look, mm. there are eyes in the sky. Where, 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 where? The Who? I think it was on the Who. I put it on. There it is. On the Who. <laughs> I know where I put it before. The Who. The Who. Heads the walking pace. <laughs> <laughs> so, what type of pace are you going to put up? You gonna Risk. how many hours a day you gonna try and go? Here's another question. Partway mm -hmm. through journeying in, uh Lawrence will say Do we wanna travel by night or by day? I mean we can see fine in the night, so normal humies can be better. So, up to you guys. Should we go a little ways? Break for like an hour or two and then keep going at night? Flora, does it typically make a difference in your experience? I'd rather travel by night. 
No. Oh. Fair enough. But I'll do whatever you guys want to do. All right. Uh, so yeah, Good we'll luck. do we'll do what Lawrence suggested. Good idea, Lawrence. <laughs> um, and according to a popular search app. Uh, a good hiking pace is four miles per hour, which, as a park ranger, I think we could do. Uh, mm-hmm. So, yeah. Four hours. Oh. Uh, four miles an hour. How many hours? Uh, I think Lauren suggested one. So we'll go four miles, and then we will pause till it starts getting uh, dusky. And how'd I get? Probably take a nap. I didn't sleep all night. I don't think. So, no, dude. I yeah, would I suggest so. just my suggestion, since this area is a known and bad area that we, the first day we just go. Well, Flora, when we bring up ideas, the expectation is that you put your input in at that time. Um, but um, He's fair enough. Like this. Oh, let's do it. Put in eight hours now, get away, and then we can cycle tonight. Okay. We go and travel and do our best to stay hidden. Yeah. Spooky helicopter. I'm gonna say there. Everywhere. So who's gonna do the roll for encounters? I oh Peter will do the roll. Vantage dice. I will do the roll. <laughs> Presentatus cool beans that he grabs for those. And that one fell in the floor, giving us a sixty-seven. Okay, let me see here. Contested wise, what we're going? We're in a traffic area, and nothing happens. You guys got away. So that is where I have it. You're making it too. What? And that's just my suggestion. That's 32 miles. Staying away from practically everything. In the middle of nowhere. The next day, you're going to have to kind of not go in a straight line. If you're going to miss that little clump of towns. And not go into the lake. Yeah, and yeah, that also, but you want to Munzing and Wellmore and all that. Yeah, you what miss all that? You'll have down to go. towards the uh, Hi- Hiawatha National Forest, down that way. Yeah. Yeah, just get a march on. Hike, hike, hike. I do need to roll for something else. Who oh, is the slowest of us all? Shit. Is it Lawrence? It's probably no, it's me, Ox. actually. He's At this pace, yeah. Ox. So, before if, that, though. Yeah, if we were sprinting, it would definitely be Ox, but I think I'd hike. It's not a big deal. One other thing did happen that day. I must point that out. I rolled bad. Get this. Nothing good happens in a day when you're that alone. Okay. 
there. What is this? So when you get to that point during your daily walk, Laura passed out. Uh -oh. Oh. Spaghetti eyes. What now? Someone needs to keep her iron intake up. This is ridiculous. That isn't coming up anything. Did that work for anyone else? Uh, you got to get rid of the three. Uh, oh, it, I uh, sorry. That three dot for some reason, that fingered. I don't know. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Is this the second day or during the first day? During the first day. Um, okay. He passes out. Is there any reason that we can suss out for that? Each of you roll percentage dice. Fifty-eight. Ninety-four. I don't know anything. Somebody knows something. And what did you get, Lawrence? I got a thirty. Three zero. Three zero. No. Uh, for Ox and Millicent, doesn't look like anything else is different. Looks like it's just in the middle of nowhere. She passed yeah. out. Lawrence? I get a little bit more paranoid here, but you also don't know of any other reason why. What? Huh? Lawrence just feels more paranoid. I feel like there's more... I don't know. Just... A lot of energy. I just, like everything's watching. Like it's just, everything, everything's watching. Even the sky. The sky is watching. The ground's watching right now. We're being watched. We gotta be watched. This, this has to. Be. What made her fall asleep? Wait, bath salts? Salts? Not bath salts. They're just salts, right? But waking salts? They're they're smelling salts. Smelling. But, that's what they're um, called. You think that would be the course of action here? I don't know. Yeah, you give her a hit. See anything else that looks dangerous or anything going on? I mean, I mean, I will admit, looking at these coordinates he sent us, it is a bit unsettling because there's it's called, sort of what they would call scrubland, like it's very dry looking with only the occasional shrub. Um. So yeah, I'm going to uh, waft the smelling salts under. Laura's nose, and I'm also gonna like wave them in Lawrence's face as well to try and snap him out of his panic. Huh. Ah. I'll let Lawrence deal with it however Lawrence wants to deal with it. No oh, energy's still there. Laura will wake up. Oh, wow. Sorry. Wow. Oof. Why do you keep passing out? This. Uh, that was strange. Good. Oh. Keep passing out. This is the first time I passed out. I mean, right. you did pass out a few times when we met you yesterday. And that was lack of energy and being paranoid scared. Okay, so why do you pass out today? This is just because of the ley line. The huh? The uh -huh. who's? The ley line. Okay, when explain we ask that. Yes, elaborate. Uh... Mm -hmm magical line of energy running around earth we just pass under one anybody that's magical sensitive it can overload them usually doesn't happen to me just a random thing great okay i feel like i need a ladder in my life to show me this whole new world Mm, mm. That would be convenient, uh, although not particularly helpful, unless they had the genie with, in which case... Do genies exist? Helpful. Good question. <laughs> I 
I'll show you guys this picture. It's from future reference, but your characters don't know that. Brother, that is so many. That looks like a rubber band ball. <laughs> yeah, it does. Good luck with that. That's actual. Because it's yeah. actually made for Google Earth. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, well, are you good to go, Floor, or should I carry you? Uh, just give me a minute and we'll be good to go. I almost wrote force sensitive. <laughs> close, <laughs> close. Magic sensitive. Around Earth, there are lines of magic where magic is concentrated. They're called ley lines. There are lots of them. They run all over every direction around Earth. You can't go a couple hundred miles without running into one somewhere along the line. Underneath them, magic is enhanced. Uh, but it's not dangerous or anything. It's just, I'm new to magic, very, very new, so it can still overload me. What you want to avoid are the nexus points. Those what are bad. Da Vinci code. <laughs> Since ley lines run across Earth in all different types of directions, they of course cross. When two or more ley lines cross, that's called an nexus point. Magic is very, very amplified there. It can go very wrong there. But we're nowhere close to anything like that. Well, I'm going to admit this seems worse overall, but uh, hike on. Yeah. Every and then you get to the way you stop for the day one. Nice. What do you think? Fire, fire, no fire. Does it matter? I we're not actively being hunted right now, so I don't think it'd be a problem. I'm still gonna go find some wood and such that uh, smokes. Not at all, or just a little. And I'll make a fire with that. Okay. Anything else? I'm going to request breakfast for dinner in the form of oatmeal. Because that is easy to travel with and is very full Millie? of fiber and sticks to you. For you, I'll make that happen. Thanks, Uncle Ox. Ox will get out his, uh, you know, oatmeal, dehydrated meals. But he's going to spruce it up. You know, he's going to find some herbs that are about. Uh, obviously, herbs that, <laughs> herbs that go with oatmeal, I assure you. Uh, <laughs> also has a little pack of brown sugar to go with as well. Nice, excellent. Um, gets that in there. Gets it all warm and nice. And then passes it out to the people. Thanks. Thanks, Uncle Ox. This is really going to help us keep our strength up for tomorrow so we don't pass out again. Mm, mm, mm. We won't encounter a ley line for another couple days. And also, you'll have extra strength from Uncle Ox's wonderful oatmeal. Very mm. hearty. Yeah, it's great cooking and foraging skills. Awesome. Next day, walk. Who wants to do the roll? I'll do it. Eighty four. Those dice are rolling fun. 
It's March 11th now. Well, you get another day then. As we're hiking about, Ox is going to keep a lookout for tasty fruits and nuts that he can implement into meals to keep things fun and tasteful. Okay. Why don't you give me an identify plants and fruits roll? Okay, so I rolled a 15. My identify plants and fruits is 30, so that's got to be good. Yep, that's good. You found some. Nice. That won't poison you or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> give you the runs. <laughs> Okay. Well, I assume we will in some way stop for lunch. Oh, but we're traveling at night this day. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's actually the 12th, JP. Ah! Um, so then we will stop, eat breakfast with the fruits and nuts that I found. Um... Plus a little bit of, uh, I'm trying to think of something that can be easily traveled. Uh, mm, now would be a great time for something else to fall off of the shelf. Mm. That would be spooky. I'm Some, trying. Uh, I tried pulling it, but it didn't happen. Dang it. <laughs> You're manifesting um, destruction? Yes, of course. <laughs> Dehydrated uh, or rehydrated scrambled eggs. But we're going to use the, the, the nuts and fruits that we found, some herbs from their surrounding area to make it tasty and not really bland and gross. Can do that. Breakfast for everybody. Breakfast of champions. Then I'm going to go to sleep. And you know what? I think I'm going to sleep in Morphous form. I'm going to be rooted, though. So it seems like I should be able to do that. Sure. It's like wiggling your toes into the sand, wiggling your roots into the soil. Well, it's, it's one of my moves to, to like oh. become rooted. Uh, oh, because, oh, okay. Uh, so I can't be like knocked over, but it just so I just can fall asleep and not okay. fall over. And anything else that anyone wants to do in particular? Different? No. We'll just move no. on. We should probably yeah. keep watch. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, table talk. Do we still feel exhaustion and hunger the same as we did beforehand? Or do we now have like an extended endurance? Since definitely having... have an extended endurance okay so how long do we need to sleep for the equivalent of a long rest if you're staying in morphous either one i didn't realize there would be a difference in that regard as well there is ah. there is okay uh, in your human form you still need eight hours okay in your um, morphous form? You're going to have to figure that out. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, then I will... Is Are we sleeping at night or are we sleeping at day? Sleeping, sleeping during day. day now. Sleeping during day. Then I will keep watch. I will stay awake while they snooze um, for like four hours. And then after four hours, I'm going to harass my brother into doing the rest of it. Uh, fine, okay, all right. Yeah. Lawrence, give me a roll. Yay! Just because he's the paranoid one. <laughs> oh boy. Six. 
seven. You swear that bird has been circling for too long. Uncle Ox. <laughs> Uncle Ox. Shaking one of his branches. Do, 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 do. Knock on wood. I mean... <laughs> Lawrence, you all right? That bird's been circling us for a while. Um, Ox, we'll look at the bird. Mm -hmm. Is it native? Is he aware of it? Yeah, it looks normal. Well, it looks like a normal bird, so unless they somehow put surveillance on birds, um, Flora? I mean, if the rumors that we have heard about creatures have been true, there's a conspiracy that people talk about that birds aren't real, and that they were replaced by drones in, like, the 80s. What if they're all just fleshy drones that we weren't aware about? <laughs> Great. Keep the paranoid going. Yes. More paranoid. Yeah, I mean, I think it might be time to head for the trees. Um, Are we not in so, the trees? Well, looking at the map, it looks kind of... Hold on, let's zoom back in. It doesn't there. look like we're in a forest. I thought we were going down towards uh, the the uh, Hiawatha National Forest. They're not, they're not trees down that way? I don't know where we are at this exact moment in time. Did yeah. I... Uh, not so, post day two? No. Oh, hold on. No, we just got day one. Some bits are treed, some bits are empty. Most of it's treed from the looks of it. Oh, okay. That's here. Oops, 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 oops. I put your day two. Ha! There's a place there. called Pete's Lake. <laughs> Almost yours. Okay, so we're at the edge of some trees. Um, I mean, yeah, that's the general location. Okay. So, you know, you but, can be in those trees. That's not a problem. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. we will head for those trees. However, I will get really, like, itchy and I'll be looking around at the trees and kind of like trying to avoid touching them. And then we will realize that there are a lot of cedars in the area. <laughs> it's a moth. Mothballs are made of cedar wood. There's like an oil in them. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, the more you know. The more you know. Da, da, da. Yeah. So I'm just going to be like itchy and acting like something smells really bad, like waving the smelling salts in front of my own face at one point and then having a violent reaction to it. Man, you already acted like a moth to begin with, but now you just really are one. Okay, watch yourself. Watch what you say. I can still throw these hands at you. Yeah. Hold up both my barrel arms. I think I can win these days. Lawrence, <laughs> it's a long hike. Be nice. <laughs> she started it. She was born first. Well, I'm pretty sure, even in this circumstance, I can finish it. Please be nice. Yeah, that's a good point. So beyond yeah. that, beyond the bird <laughs> incident, nothing else. Lord, should we care about birds? Do you know anything about evil birds that are trying to track us and find us? Not that I'm aware of. Good enough for me. Looks just like a bird. It's been circling for so long. I'm going to continue my sleeping until it's time to hike again. No, that's not true because I'm going to I'm going to wake up to make dinner for everybody before we got to hike. Oh. Can't I can't hike on an empty stomach. That's well known.
And for dinner, it will be bird. I mean, <laughs> uh, crumpled up biscuits and gravy. So you won't have a full. You'll have like torn up biscuit, not you know because mm. you have it's easier to travel. And then we'll start hiking when it starts to get dusky, I guess. Okay. Just so it said, Ox is very dubious about this whole operation still. Just kind of going along with it at this point, but keeping an eye on that bird still. Is the bird still there when we start hiking? No. We must have gone back to report to the superiors. <laughs> Birds. Okay. For the most night, it's in eventful until you get to that point. I need rolls from everybody. Percentage rolls. <laughs> 41 for me. 66. Oh, What'd you I, get, did, I, I did on mute. 76. Okay. Ooh. So this time, as you're walking, Flora goes, play line. Walks under, yeah, just keeps, nope, doesn't fall over anything. <laughs> but she points it out, yep, yeah, walking under a ley line, another ley line. I don't cool, see cool. Anything. Do I see anything? No, you do no. not. It's just the sky. How do you know that there's a ley line here? Because there's no marker and it feels exactly the same as everywhere else. A little more excited. When you learn magic, you also learn the ability to sense and see ley lines. Remind me never to learn magic. That sounds rough. Yeah. So that to me, really... it looks like a permanent Aurora Borealis line. That sounds really inconvenient, though, if you get, like, really... If you can pass out about it. What... Do the ley lines help in any way, or do they just kind of make you jittery sometimes? They do amplify magic. You know, depending on what you're trying to accomplish, it may be the help you need. Interesting. I can make something be invisible longer underneath the ley line. Interesting. It takes less energy to make something invisible. At the same time, your destructive senses might even be more powerful too. See, now that sounds helpful. That sounds interesting. Well, it depends. When you're talking about power compression systems, if you don't have something that's capable of actually transferring and flowing the power itself, then it kind of explodes. Can that happen? I don't understand the thing you just said. What? Well, like, like a fuse. Okay, so fuses are only wadded for so much electricity to flow through and when you overdo it 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 pops and explodes and lights on fire Can so that happen if you're like to draw power from a ley line you mean yeah like you yeah know. you could burn yourself out never touching magic Oh, stick to things I understand more. Beyond that incident, you get to your camping spot for day three. So be there.
Nope, that is not what I meant to do. Are you sure? What? Oh, I now accidentally I'm... like laugh reacted when I was trying to copy the coordinates. Oh. <laughs> We're in the Gwyn State Forest area now. Ooh, nice. Progressing. I like how the map makes the river name like really just squiggle along the river. I like that. That's nice. Ah, we Good can touch. Just move nice. like north well, like west northwest to the Ottawa National Forest. That seems like a good route. Doesn't seem like there's towns in that line, really. I mean, yeah, that's as good of a plan as any. You could. Sure. Oh, the Atlas says there's a mine up here. That seems interesting. But no, no, we have a mission. This isn't yeah, a it's a, trip. It's a weird orange area. Right above. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, that's mine. Mine, mine, mine ran off? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I want to go play in the mud. And some strip mining and some stuff going on over there. And The mud, which I'm sure, sure is not acidic at all from any very of Very healthy actions. for a tree guy like me. Yes, and you for no reason whatsoever, an Air Force base. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. By the mine? Mm -hmm. He saw your AFB. Oh, yeah. that's mm -hmm. what that means? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Animal oh. space. Mm -hmm. Okay, then maybe we shouldn't go to the mine. Well, no, I wasn't gonna anyways. I thought you loved me. Millie, I do love you. That's why I want good things for you, which does not include going to a mine. Check out Agree the, to disagree. <laughs> the area around here. You've got Tarzan Street, Scorpion Road, Lancer Street, Albatross, Destroyer Street. Where are you at? There's a place I called Mastodon. Not. So Can we go to Mastodon? So if you go to the Air Force Base, the the Key Soil oh. Air Force Base, I saw a place that said let's key let let's grow key. And if you zoom in on that area. You've got Scorpion, Tarzan Street, Lancer, Destroyer Street. Albatross. Albatross. There's Provider as well. This place has Strato great Cruiser? Constellation Road. Liberator. Ah. <laughs> That's hey. fun. We should go there. What a great when, when, when we know be. what's going on in the world, we should go there. We should avoid that place like none other because it's an AFB. <laughs> Government. Mm. Anyone Fun. tell what type of Air Force base it is? <laughs> you can tell by the runway, but anyway. A really you can fun tell one. By the runway? You can? Yeah. Oh. I don't know what this means. Is it one that believes in friendship? They oh. have a salon and tanning place. Well, it's just funny because the satellite image is there. Oh, there's one. Oh, like, yeah. That's almost, a big boy. There's almost no airplanes at this Air Force base. It's really weird. Well, that's a pretty big boy there. Where? Yeah. Top flight saloon and tanning. I don't... Yeah. I salon and tanning. So, 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 salon. Yeah, not saloon. It's not an old tiny bar. Well, squad. But anyway, uh, we yes. should keep hiking. We should focus. Uh -huh. we, yeah. we should. I think we should we just should keep move going for first. another day. Yeah. Who wants to give me the roll for a ha another night of hiking? While I figure out where we go. It's my time. I'm feeling it. You got this. Give us a not one. It's an 83. No. Uh -huh. Let's not do an art run. <laughs> It'll be good for us. It's an 83. Hmm. We get murdered we've in done, our sleep. We've done an 85, an 84, and an 83 today. Yeah, you're staying in one general area. Now we have a problem. Oh, no. But yay. Okay. Well, 
I can't make this decision for you, so let me flag some coordinates and you guys can make this decision on how you want to handle this. Your 32 mile point puts you ending right at a highway, which is not optimal. Yep, yep. So how do you want to handle that? Where we at? Uh, yeah. That's your 32 mile area ish, and really, Four. since the the direction you're going, it's that whole road is 32 miles. So, do you head more northish, more southish, or do you try somewhere? Um, you guys decide. I, it looks like the type of highway that we could walk across. If you wanted to push more than your 32 miles, yes. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not do that in the dark. Do oh, we want to... It's probably not that dark anymore. Stop yeah. by Michigami River. Michigami River. It's just to the east. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's before yeah. before the road. Man. I'm but sorry, Big like Lick Lake? Yeah. <laughs> There's also Witch Lake. Yeah, what's up with the Michigami River? I like that plan. Yeah, that's a good river. Very squiggly. There's Island Lake. <laughs> yeah. That lake. Squawk Creek. Oh, that's Squaw Creek. Yeah, yeah. By the that's Michigan Me River. That's a good. Yeah. Spot. Oh, there's Boys Lake. I'm not allowed. <laughs> I may pick some, pick a coordinate and send it to me. Let's go uh, for your day four stop. Let's get across the river. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking. What do you think about this? This here. Oh, I'm thinking this one too. We might it's be really one. close to each other. That'd be very fun if we were. Oh, we were very close to if each we other. We were very close. Yeah, you just nice. stayed by the river. I went to a different body of water just past. I like yours better, I think. Cool, cool. We'll do that. Get our camp on. Get your camp on. Yeah, that's your day four camp. Oh, no. Actually, as we start mm -hmm. to put bags down a little bit, Lawrence takes a little walk by the, the stream, sees that there's a house nearly immediately across the river to the south. Is there? And then pushes for us know. to go to the coordinates I sent, which is just a little in lake. All right. We're I'm easily land. convinced by that argument. Because there are two houses there, actually. Okay, yes. To Lawrence's coordinates. Why does it look so spiky over here? I assume those are trees? Fallen trees? Oh, maybe. Hmm. Neat. Cool. We have a nap. I know. Yeah, or Isn't... just get our nap on some food items. After the first couple of days of watch, where I've been doing first watch for four hours mm. and then sleeping for four hours. How do I feel? No different. So we keep, could keep going for a little bit further than the 32 miles. Just keep walking for longer. Interesting. What if... Hey, Millie. While we're eating. I don't feel any more tired from only sleeping four hours a night. Do you? No, and I also don't wake up, like, stiff as much as I used to. Like, especially camping, good, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. Very weird. Do you think we need to sleep? Laura, 
Do you have an answer to that inquiry? What am I, the walking dictionary? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've been at this for 20 years. We've been at this for... Like a week. Yeah. Hold on a second. Now we need the exact answer. I gotta look up the exact answer. Trying to avoid the exact answer. <laughs> Cheating. Floor <laughs> doesn't know. <laughs> Well, I mean, it kind of makes know. sense. You know, it's why do something for so long you don't get out of the habit. This whole time, by the way past few days, Lawrence has been finding pretty much every bird he sees with just a, a level of paranoia. Whenever a bird's flying by, he's always watching it to make sure it's not following and circling. And what do you do when they do? Shake, Millie. That bird's following us. You're not getting much sleep, Millie? Lawrence, hun, it's a bird. There are so many that look identical. I don't think it's following us. I swear that one's the same. <laughs> yeah, but they all look the same. Okay, you know what? If we're in the middle of but nowhere no. and I see that bird again, I'm gonna shoot it. Just, just make sure case. we're out of earshot of anybody, but yeah, I mean, better safe than sorry, right? Does my shadow blast make noise? Shadow blast? No. No? Great. Guns? Yes. Cool. Well, folks, we will call it on that. And oh, we will shoot. get the sleep answer next week. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>